Hi there, boys and girls. Today for story time, we're going to read Mr. Strong by Roger Hargreaves. Do you remember the other day we read Mr. Happy, Mr. Bump, a little Miss Helpful? Now it's time for Mr. Strong. This is the story of Mr. Strong. Mr. Strong is the strongest person in the whole wide world. The strongest person there ever has been and probably the strongest person there ever will be. Mr. Strong is so strong, he can not only bend an iron bar with his bare hands, he can tie knots in it. It's pretty strong. <clears throat> Mr. Strong is so strong, he can throw a cannonball as far as you or I can throw a tennis ball. Mr. Strong is so strong, he can hammer nails into the wall just by tapping them with his finger. Strong by name and strong by nature. And would you like to know the secret of Mr. Strong's strength? Eggs. The more eggs Mr. Strong eats, the stronger he becomes. Stronger and stronger and stronger. Eggs are, are a meat and they're high in protein. Protein builds muscles. Anyway, this story is about a funny thing that happened to Mr. Strong one day. That morning he was having breakfast, and for breakfast he was having eggs, followed by more eggs. And to finish, he was having, guess what? That's right, eggs. This was That was Mr. Strong's normal breakfast. Lots of eggs. After his breakfast, Mr. Strong brushed his teeth, and as usual, he squeezed all the toothpaste out of the tube. He squeezed too hard. And as usual, he brushed his teeth so hard, he broke his toothbrush. Mr. Strong goes through an, an awful lot of toothpaste and toothbrushes. You see the broken part of his toothbrush? That's too bad. After that, Mr. Strong decided to take a walk. He put on his hat and opened the front door of his house. Crash! He pushed it too far. What a beautiful day, he thought to himself, and stepped outside, and then shut the front door. Bang! The door fell off its hinges. Mr. Strong goes through a lot of front doors. He slammed the door open and slammed it closed. Goodness. Then Mr. Strong went for his walk. He walked through the woods, but he wasn't looking where he was going and walked, slam, bang, into a huge tree. Crack. The huge tree trunk snapped and the tree thundered to the ground. Whoops, said Mr. Strong. He knocked a tree over. <clears throat> then Mr. Strong walked into town. And again, not looking where he was going, he walked, slam, bang, straight into a bus. This should, sounds like Mr. Bump. Now, as you know, if you or, or I were to walk into a bus, we'd get run over, wouldn't we? Not Mr. Strong. The bus stopped as if it had run into a brick wall. Whoops, said Mr. Strong. The bus, the bus crashed into him. <clears throat> Eventually, Mr. Strong walked through, the walked through the town and out into the country. He met a very worried-looking farmer on the road. What's the matter? asked Mr. Strong. It's my cornfield, replied the farmer. It's on fire, and I can't put it out. Mr. Strong looked over the hedge, and sure enough, the cornfield was blazing fiercely. Water, said Mr. Strong. We must get water to put out the fire. But I don't have enough water to put a whole field out, cried the worried farmer. And the nearest water is down at the river, and I don't have a pump. Then we'll have to find something to carry the water in, replied Mr. Strong. Is that your barn? he asked the farmer, pointing to the barn in another field. Yes, I was going to put my corn in it. 
said the farmer, but, but, can I use it? asked Mr. Strong. Yes, but, replied the perplexed farmer. Mr. Strong walked over to the barn, and then, do you know what he did? He picked it up. He actually picked up the barn. The farmer couldn't believe his eyes. He picked up the whole barn. Then Mr. Strong carried the barn over his head down to the river. Then he turned the barn upside down, and he lowered it into the water so that it filled with water. Then, and this really shows how strong Mr. Strong is, he picked it back up. He carried it back to the blazing cornfield. That would be really heavy. Mr. Strong empty, emptied the upside down barn full of water over the flames. Sizzle, sizzle, splutter, splutter. One minute, the flames were leaping into the air. The next minute, they were gone. How can I ever thank you? The farmer asked Mr. Strong. Oh, it was nothing, remarked Mr. Strong modestly. But I must find some way to reward you, said the farmer. Well, said Mr. Strong, you're a farmer, so you must have some chickens. Yes, lots of chickens, said the farmer. And chickens lay eggs, went on Mr. Strong, and I love to eat eggs. Then you shall have as many eggs as you can carry, said the farmer. And he took Mr. Strong over to the farmyard. Mr. Strong said goodbye to the farmer, and he thanked him for the eggs, and the farmer thanked Mr. Strong for helping. Then Mr. Strong, using just one finger, he picked up the eggs and went home. That's a lot of eggs. Mr. Strong put the eggs down carefully on his kitchen table, and then went to close the kitchen door. Crash! The door fell off its hinges. Whoops, said Mr. Strong, and he sat down. Crunch, the chair fell to bits. Whoops, said Mr. Strong. Then Mr. Strong started cooking his lunch, and for lunch, he started with eggs, followed by an egg or two, and then more eggs. And then for dessert, he was having, well, can you guess? If you can, there's no need to turn the page to find out what he was having. For dessert, he was having ice cream. The end. Because ice cream makes a good dessert. Speaking of ice cream, I might have to make some ice cream. That sounds like a good, good dessert after dinner. Hope you enjoyed the story of Mr. Strong. Remember to get lots of exercise. Eat healthy food. And don't forget your rest. That's when your body is growing, building muscles, and making those bones grow bigger. See you later. Bye-bye.